Where do you can read off is my name once again. Welcome to today's lesson. So for today's lesson, we are going to learn how to classify second order linear PDs. So um remember that so far in this course we've been talking about first order partial differential equations. So now we are moving to the second order linear PDs. So remember that the general form of a second order linear PD is AUX X plus BUXY plus CYY plus DUX plus EUY plus F Q equal to zero. So this is the general form of the second order linear PD. So second order linear PDs can be classified as being hyperbolic, parabolic, or elliptic. So we have ways to find out whether our PD of second order is hyperbolic, parabolic, or elliptic. So we have two ways of finding out, and the two ways is either by using the method of discriminants or the method of determinants. So either method will help you to find out whether your second order PD is elliptic, parabolic, or hyperbolic. So, when you take the method of determinants, the first method, remember the full form of our first or second order PD was AUXX plus BUXY plus CUYY plus DUX plus EUY and plus FU equals zero. So, with a method of discriminants, if b squared minus 4ec is equal to 0, then we see that our second order PD is of the parabolic form. If our b squared minus 4ec is less than 0, then we see it is of the elliptic form. If our b squared minus 4ec is greater than 0, then we have the hyperbolic form. So, um, let's also discuss the method of determinants. So that's the second method, the method of determinants. So notice that you can use either the method of discriminant or the method of determinant. So for that one, we form a matrix A. And our matrix A is given by A, and this place is B over 2, B over 2, C. Remember that A, B, C are coefficients of the second order PD. So, when you, form the when you find the determinant of A, and it's equal to 0, then it is the parabolic form. If the determinant of A is less than 0, then... We say it is the hyperbolic form. It is of the hyperbolic form. If our determinant of A is greater than 0, then we say it is of the elliptic form. Please note the difference between the method of discriminant and that of the determinant. So, let's learn how to classify our second order PDs. We'll go through some examples. So let's take a first example. So for the first example, we have ux x plus uyy plus sorry is equal to zero. So this is our second order PD. We are supposed to classify this. So we first use the method of disc discriminant. 
is criminal. So remember that we said the second order PD is of the form AUXX plus BUXY plus CUYY plus DUX plus EUY plus F of U equals to zero. So in the mean comparison, that means our E is equal to one, our B is equal to zero, and our C is also equal to one. So that means that B squared minus four AC will be equal to zero squared minus four one times one. And it will be equal to negative four. And remember that with the method of discriminant, we said that when B squared minus four AC is less than zero, then it is of the elliptic form so our pd of second order is elliptic so with the same pd let's just use the method of determinant for it so we said we form an a matrix a which has this corresponding element so remember that the determinant a is one b is 0, 0 over 2 is 0, 0, and 1. So remember that the determinant of this matrix A will be given as 1 minus 0, which will be equal to 1, which is greater than 0. And you say with the method of determinant, if our determinant of A is greater than 0, then it is elliptic. So you've realized that when you use both the method of discriminant or the method of determinant, you get the same response. So let's just take a second example. So with a second example, let's say we have um, UTT plus 3UXT minus 2U T T sorry X X equals zero. So when you have this second order PD, remember by making comparison it means our A is one, our B is three, and our C is negative two. So let's use the method of discriminants. So using the method of discriminants we know that we have to find b square minus 4ac. So our b here is 3. So 3 square then minus 4ac. So what is our a? a is 1 and c is minus 2. So this is going to give us 9 minus 4 times minus 2, which will give us 9 plus 8, which will be equal to 17, which is greater than 0. So that means that this particular PDE is hyperbolic using the condition because b square minus 4 ac is greater than 0 then we can use the method of determinants so with the method of determinants we know that our a matrix is giving us a b over 2 b over 2 c where our a is 1 our b over 2 is our b sorry okay so our b is 3 so b over 2 will be 3 over 2 and our c is negative 2 so that means you are going to form this particular matrix where we have 1 here 3 over 2 here 3 over 2 here and negative 2 here so in finding the determinant of a you are going to get minus 2 minus 2 minus 3 over 2 times 3 over 2 which is going to give us minus 2 minus 9 over 4 which is going to give us something which will be less than 0 and remember we said the method of determinants when the determinant is less than 0 then we have something which is hyperbolic so you see whether you use the first formula or the second formula you get the same thing so now let's look at an example where we get the parabolic form so, with this particular second order PD, so we realize that with this one, our 
by making comparison. I'm going to compare with this. So here I'm going to have something like this. C U T T plus D U X plus E U T plus F of U equals zero. So by making comparison, realize that our A is equals negative one, our B is zero, and our C is also zero. So when you find B squared minus four A C, we are going to get zero squared minus four times minus one times zero. And this will give us zero. So we said when the b square minus 4ac is equal to zero, then we say it is what? Parabolic. Then when we use the method of determinants, our a matrix is going to be, remember it is a, b over 2, b over 2, and c. And we are going to have a to be minus 1, b over 2 is 0. B over 2 is 0 here, and this is also 0. When you find the determinants of this matrix, it gives you 0, and you see it is parabolic. So, this is how to classify second order linear differential, partial differential equation as hyperbolic, parabolic, or elliptic. Thank you very much.